Greetings, you guys. You made it. You absolutely completed our five-day challenge designed for the wealth transfer. I am so proud of you. I'm so grateful for you sharing this week with me. I'm so blessed by all that God did and all that he said. I know absolutely that your lives will be transformed, but you guys transform my life as well. Your businesses are going to the next level and kingdom wealth is going to the next level as well. Again, I'm just so blessed in all that God has done. And I want to encourage you to move forward. Let this be the beginning of you moving into your next level. You are designed for the wealth transfer and you've got to position yourself for it and make sure your vehicle is prepared to receive and distribute wealth. Now, I want to encourage you in this Facebook group because you can continue to communicate and chat with each other in the group chat as we continue to move forward. And if you're looking at this in the email, you can join the Facebook group now. Just go to Kingdom of Challenge. You know, of course, there's a, a link in this email if you're watching this in the email. And you can go right to that challenge and request membership. And then you can actually be a part of that Facebook group. And you can become a part of the chat, the group chat that is a part of it. Now, we will have additional challenges. Um, and so I actually talked about that in today's uh, day five session. Uh, so watch that video if you missed it so that you'll know more about the additional challenges that are coming up. But more importantly, I want to encourage you to actually start coaching with me. Become a kingdom pillar because you've got to take your business to the next level. And there are other things that God needs to do in you, um, things he needs to do in your soul, things he needs to do in your mindset and things that he needs to do to create passive income streams for you and prepare you for the challenging times ahead. All of that, we actually focus on all of that in Kingdom Pillars Coaching while we're building your business. So this is all happening simultaneously. Um, and I want to encourage you to actually get involved. Go to kingdomofllc.com, go to the coaching page, just click on Kingdom Pillars. You can read more about it and then you can actually click to get started and become a Kingdom Pillar today. It's only $99 a month and you can start that subscription so that you and I will have these type of experiences regularly because what we experience in the five-day challenge is exactly what we experience in our group coaching sessions in kingdom pillars coaching so you know what to expect and you know it's absolutely for you except for the fact that you'll actually be working on your business as well and we'll be talking specifically about your business then you can also email me you know things you're doing in your business i'll give you my feedback so you'll have a lot more coaching and mentorship as you're building your business and you're moving forward in the things of god so if you missed any part of this five-day challenge, I want to encourage you to go right to the, uh, the Kingdom Wealth Challenge group, watch the videos that you missed because there was just so much revelation. God spoke so powerfully this week and it was just really life transforming. However, I believe the most transformative part of this five-day challenge was the group session after the recording stopped because that's when people who were there that day began to share and oftentimes they'd ask questions. And when I answered the questions, really just listening to the Holy Spirit, so much began to happen. Other people were encouraged and blessed and they would chime in and encourage each other. Um, and it really just became so, so powerful, which is exactly how our group coaching looks in Kingdom Pillars Coaching. But there are two revelations that actually came forth this week that if you uh, were not a part of the live sessions um, and there after the recording stopped, you would have missed so much revelation, but these two I think are essential for your life and I want to share them with you now. And so the first one I actually includes some of my props. And so I'm going to uh, just, just share with you, they include <clears throat> this crystal apple um, and one of my earrings. <laughs> so I'm going to take it off now. Somebody actually asked a question when we were in the group session um, about their industry. They didn't understand how um, their gifts match up with them having, you know, understanding what industry they should work in and what they should do, you know, as, 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 as far as building their business or, um, moving forward in their career, like what did all their gifts and abilities and talents have to do with that? Um, and that was of course the day when I told you guys to write them all down. We're looking at your design because so you had to write down all your gifts, talents, abilities, skills, uh, job experiences, uh, volunteer experiences, all of it and connect it to your hopes and then pray and ask God to show you the industry or the field that you should be working in and in particular that you should build your business in so that you can fulfill your purpose. And so I shared this analogy, which is something that I share oftentimes. As you guys know, I'm also a motivational speaker. 
And my signature talk is called True You. If you go to kingdomofllc.com and you click on speaking, um, and then you'll see all these different topics that I speak on, look at True You and it'll actually go through um, kind of the bones, the foundation, the outline of that talk. But to sum it up in a nutshell and to answer the question that was asked, what I shared is that each one of us is like a diamond. And I don't have a diamond this big for the, just for this um, analogy, but I do have this crystal apple. It was given to me by um, a couple who are pastors, um, and, as, and I was operating in my apostolic anointing and helping them in their ministry. And so they gave me an apple, and they said specifically it was an apple for the teacher, which is just so beautiful. It's one of my favorite gifts that I received. Um, but the way this crystal apple is designed is that it's multifaceted like a diamond. So we see, you know, the way diamonds are cut, you know, it has all these different faces, which is what multifaceted means. It means many faces. And it doesn't mean like a person is two-faced or phony. What it means is that you're multidimensional like this crystal apple. You've got all these different beautiful cuts and each one of these cuts represents a gift, a talent, an ability, an experience that you've had, an interest that you have. All of these cuts show different aspects of you. And as I turn this apple, you see its brilliance is different. It, the, the brilliance of this apple changes as I turn it. You know, it reflects the light differently as I turn it. It's because of the many different cuts. You are multifaceted. Now, the challenge is that the world doesn't want you to be multifaceted. The world wants you to be one-dimensional, uh, like my earring. <laughs> so we've got, you know, a stone here in this earring. But you see that it's it, even though it's got some cuts on it, it's been set. It's put in a setting so that it can hang and be placed where, you know, the person who created it wants it to be placed. Um, and it's even got in the setting that the back is covering up um, the stone on the other side. So really, there's only one real face of this stone so that it looks one way all the time. Um, and it can be set in whatever setting the person wants it to be set in. And it can, can be hung wherever they want it to be hung. This is what people want for you. They want to be able to set you in the setting they want to set you in. They want to be able to hang you and put you wherever they want to put you um, and make you unifaceted, <laughs> you know, one dimensional so that you do what it is they need you to do and meet their needs. But that's not how God designed you. You are multifaceted. And if that makes someone uncomfortable, if that offends them, that is their problem. You've got to be true to God and true to who God designed you to be. Every single aspect of you. Now, your purpose, the purpose for which you were born, is going to include every aspect. See, this apple, every cut on this apple is included in the face of this apple. It's included in the brilliance of this apple. Every single aspect of it, even the bottom, like all of it is included in this apple. Every gift, talent, experience that you've ever had, it's all a part of who you are. And all of it has been propelling you into your purpose. And all of it can be used by God in your business or in your career. But you've got to chart your own path. If you let someone else chart your path, you're going to be this earring instead of being the brilliance of this apple. And this earring, like I said, someone can put it wherever they want to. They can set it however they want and put it wherever they want. But this apple, you have to put it on a stand. So they can just provide light and shine. You can't put anything behind it. You can't hang it anywhere. You have to sit it on its stand. And that's exactly what has to happen to you. You are brilliant and multifaceted. And you got to be set on your stand so you can give glory to God. <laughs> and you can shine all different types of light. But all of it can happen in the business or businesses that God births through you so that you can fulfill your purpose. Now, the second thing I wanted to share with you guys that happened in a group session that was not in the recording um, is that someone asked today, actually on, on day five, um, to tell tell us how the millennial reign was included in you know what we're doing. What, how did that match up? And what I shared was that um, everything we're doing now is like an interview for the millennial reign, which is that thousand year reign of our Messiah who is coming soon. And so when we do well, the things he's called us to do right now, he will actually have us do those things in the millennial reign on a global scale. And so um, I gave an example out of uh, the Bible. Of course, I always try to back up things with scripture. Um, this example comes out of Luke chapter 19, starting in verse 11. There's a parable that the Lord gives. And he talks about a king that was sent out or a man who was sent out to be made king. And he leaves talents with his servants. And in the Luke version, that's the only version where it talks about when he comes back, those who were faithful with the talents, he actually gives them charge over cities. So that speaks to the millennial reign and the responsibilities that we would have in the millennial reign. So I gave myself as an example, I'm a Bible-based business coach. And so in the millennial reign, provided the Lord finds me faithful in this season, 
he would put me in charge of aligning business owners with biblical principles all over the world. So I'll have the transformed body, meaning that I can be translated to any location in just a moment and blink of an eye. And I'll be to speak all languages like we see the believers doing in Acts chapter two. So then he can tell me to go to the Philippines and to teach people in their native tongue how to line up their businesses with biblical principles. And just like that, I'll be there in the millennial reign. Now that's according to my faithfulness in this season. So I told people, don't worry. If everything that God told you to start, you didn't finish it, or you don't think you'll be finished before he returns or in your lifetime, you don't have to worry about that because we've just got to be faithful now. Start, do it, be faithful now. We've got a whole nother dispensation to continue our, our, our journeys with the Lord, to continue the work he's called us to, but we've got to be faithful with the small things so he can make us ruler over much. That is the season we're in right now because he is soon to return. And so I hope all of that blessed you, even though you didn't get the benefit from it in the group, if you weren't there. And if you were there, thank you so much for all of your contributions because everything everyone said blessed the entire experience. I am excited for you. I do hope that you'll join me in Kingdom Pillars Coaching because we are starting Divine Design right now. We are, are going right into Discovering Your Divine Design, the seven weeks that actually um, this five-day uh, challenge came out of, and it's much more intense and it goes much deeper, not just into your soul, but also into the audience that you should be uh, reaching your industry, your niche, you know, your purpose. It goes much more deeper into that. And then we're also building businesses through prosperity startup coaching or expanding them through prosperity growth coaching, depending on where people are. And so this is the perfect time for you to connect. We are coming into a new biblical year in this season right here in, in the spring. And so we will move into that season of the door, that opening, that opportunity. And you want to be the humble servant who's ready to walk right in. And Kingdom Pillars Coaching can help you to do that. Not to mention, I enjoy you guys. And I'd like to, to see you more on a regular basis. Um, but keep chatting in the group, on the Facebook group, because you can do that. And look for our next challenge, because it's already posted in the Facebook group when it's going to be and what the topic will be. So I look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions, you can email me at marquita at kingdomofllc.com. Be blessed. I'll see you soon.